Okay, she's asleep. So you can see two just there, yeah. I'm still seeing two. Okay, there's three. <laughs> I think there's three. When I was looking on the footage and through the window in the morning, um, one of them was on one of the teats on, underneath, so one of the cubs was basically lying on the top of it. We were delighted having two cubs and then went up and found there was actually three. I'm not seeing it, the bottom one just now. Oh, it's moving. Its tail's moving quite a lot. That noise, I can't do that noise. It's so sweet. Oh, good girl. Little squeaky noises. Three youngins, you get three. Hello. Hello. Hey. Yeah, some good news. I was wrong. <laughs> Had another look and I can see three now. <laughs> It looks like she had them before eight at night. I'm just trying to figure out the exact time. Although cubs are born blind, they can find their mother's teats within minutes of birth through a combination of scent and instinct. But as Dominica's third baby has been hidden from view under its siblings, the team will have to monitor it closely to make sure it is managing to get to her milk. I can't actually see from this angle whether it's suckling or not, um, but the other two are looking really strong. This is Dominica's second set of cubs, but the cameras are already allowing the keepers a much more intimate glimpse of their earliest moments than they had with her first litter. She did brilliant as a mother last time, so we knew that she was probably going to do really well for this litter as well. I interned last time at the park when she had her two cubs, so it was really exciting to be here for this moment when she was about to have her next litter of cubs and, and to get to see all these fantastic moments of her raising them again. She's doing everything right, isn't she? They suffer a lot of threats in the wild and they are really still suffering their numbers, so cubs like these, you've got to remember how special that is. Having a little simmer tiger cub, that's a really special moment and they'll contribute to the breeding programme and so that we have good numbers of them. Anything goes wrong in the wild or we need to help boost numbers in the wild, we've got a good captive population here. So every single one's really important. <laughs> With only around 500 of these majestic Amur tigers left in the wild, the three new cubs born here in Scotland represent a significant step forward for the conservation of this species. <laughs>